White House tells 18 million unemployed workers to find something new, an ad campaign by Hamza Shaban, Washington Post. Ivanka Trump urged out-of-work Americans to find something new Tuesday as part of a new jobs initiative designed to tout the benefit of skills training and career paths that do not require a college degree. Now, I'm like, I, this is something that makes a lot of sense to me that I've been a, you know, a proponent of in, in, in it. There's this core idea that college is generally a scam, like, not entirely, but for the most part, American higher education has become uh, a bad investment for most people, oversold with, with huge debt strings attached to it for most people who take loans to go to college, right? And, you know, it's, it's, I went to college. It was a great way to, you know, put the real world off for four years. Uh, was, you know, and if you're, if you're going to be a lawyer or a doctor or a specific kind of engineer or other healthcare professional, that, you know, and it's unfortunate, right? You know, and for law, by the way, you don't have to go to law school. You don't have to go to college at all. You can go study law and pass the bar and be a, a certified government approved attorney. Uh, you, you can't really do that to be a doctor, right? Uh, it, and it would be nice. And, and if we got to uh, a, a, a perfectly free market, eventually the standards for what qualifies you as a doctor wouldn't be that, well, I'll check this box and I'll check this box and I'll check this box. I went to this school and I, I did all. The, I sat through all these classes, so let me cut you open. No, there's going to be like a better assessment of someone's skills. Uh, but if you're not doing that, college is probably not a good idea. And so, like this, it starts with this idea that it's that, actually like a really important corrective to the American concept of, of work and education, right? But the effort, complete with website advertising campaign and virtual roundtable featuring Apple Chief Executive Tim Cook and IBM Chair. Ginny Rometty was swiftly derided on social media as clueless and tone deaf given the pandemic, recession, and Trump's own familial employment history. As uh, President Donald Trump's eldest daughter and White House advisor said on Twitter, this initiative is about challenging the idea the traditional two and four year college is the only option to acquire the skills needed to secure a job. This work has never been more urgent. And if this is, you know, like a silver lining uh, that, that comes out of the coronaphobia crisis is that uh, there's a major blow to higher education in America. And I don't mean the actual education part, but the inefficiencies of these institutions that have dominated higher education in America today. You know, it's a good thing. It's a good corrective, and I'm 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 all okay with that. And and for, even from my own experience, you know, I don't have any background in business, although I wish I did. And and there's some, you know, pra like if there's a degree that you want to get because you want that, not because you want to check the box. I went to college. No, no, that is you have fallen for the racket and the overvaluation of a four-year degree in America. I never thought I would even be in a position to say this. But over the course of my career as an activist, first uh, organizing with the Rock Veterans Against the War, doing Adam versus the Man as a radio show, uh, running a campaign, the Freedom Line, self-publishing a book, uh, everything else I've done, you know, I've I've hired several dozen people, three or four dozen people, uh, a lot more volunteers, but. Uh, actually hired, and I've never once used someone's college degree as the primary determinant as to uh, whether or not I would hire them. The campaign comes with the country in the midst of a public health crisis that has upended entire industries and kicked off a recession that has sent the nation's unemployment rate shooting above 11%. Now, right here, I have to I have to say sorry, Washington Compost. No, the public health crisis did not do this. The government response did this. It is very important to point out the difference here. 
The nation has a 5.4 million job openings. Excuse me, the nation has 5.4 million job openings, according to the Labor Department, which is not nearly enough for the nearly 18 million Americans who are officially unemployed and the 33 million who are receiving unemployment benefits. Now, by what trick of government math do you have only 18 million Americans who are officially unemployed, but 33 million receiving unemployment benefits? Oh, yeah. If you're unemployed and give up and stop looking for a job, they don't count you. Many saw the campaign as insensitive given the suffering of Americans whose livelihood disappeared as the pandemic forced companies to shutter or sharply curtail uh, operations. And for many, Ivanka Trump, the daughter of a billionaire who has become a multimillionaire in her own right, is the wrong person to speak to the challenges of finding a job. As Jessica Huseman of ProPublica said on Twitter, go find something new in the middle of this pandemic while no one is hiring. Perhaps your father will hire you. And I, I love the response. You know, and I love I love that there's this uh, immediate Internet leap to skewering of this and where this is coming from. You know, find something new. And part of this is like, Know your place, citizen. Put on your slave muzzle. Don't you dare go out in public without it, or you're going to be killing grandma. But there's so, there's more to it than this, because it's like, find something new. Well, that's what people are doing. That That's the beautiful, uh, unreported story about the forced unemployment crisis, is that more people than ever before are working under the table, getting paid to do jobs that they don't have to register for government with. The campaign's website lists several rising careers that the Bureau of Labor Statistics Project will see job growth. But many of the positions are in lines of work that President Trump has railed against implicitly or indirectly. Among the roles is wind turbine technician, which is projected to grow 57% through 2028. Yet the president has repeatedly ranted about wind turbines, describing them as monsters that botch the visual aesthetics of farms and fields. Research has shown that turbines significantly reduce carb carbon emissions and wind energy as one of the smallest carbon footprints of any electricity generating power. So this is a bad distraction, really. Let's, let's debate this, this one little job sector. Oh, it's going to grow. Look, yeah, okay. More than we just shrank excuse me, more than the government forced unemployment crisis has shrank the service industry, jobs for strippers, servers, bartenders. Another long-term career prospect the website recommends is Contact Tracer, the public health workers who race against time to reach many people, to reach people who may have been exposed to COVID-19 and other contagious diseases, steering them to get tested and to quarantine President Trump has repeatedly contradicted the public health guidance of his own government, which infectious disease experts say sends mixed messages that have made it harder to slow the spread of the novel coronavirus, which causes COVID-19. So far, 3.3 million people in the U.S. have been infected and at least 132,000 people have died of COVID-19, if you believe government numbers. The nonprofit Ad Council created the Find Something New campaign in partnership with more than 20 organizations, including Apple, IBM, AT&T, Walmart, Lockheed Martin, and the Business Roundtable, a corresponding website links to education and training options. So when the powers that be tell you, find something new. By the way, look, look, look here. We have these great corporate official jobs for you. Don't, you don't need a college degree. Don't, don't be one of those educated people. No, no, know your place. Find something new. Lower your expectations as we reboot the economy and get to take more charge of it so we can accelerate this process of the rich getting richer and you, the poor, getting poor. And what should your response to that be? Screw you. I am going to find something new that is independent from you, that doesn't depend on you that doesn't bow down to you, that doesn't kiss your butt 
so that I can be part of your little special economy of people who have been approved by government to have an official job. No, I am going to find something new in freedom. And I am not going to support this system anymore. So yeah, join us. Let's find something new.